Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Chow with Lao. And today I've got for you a real Chinese style winter warmer. I'm gonna show you how to make Chinese braised beef stew. Let's go. So most cultures have their own versions of winter warmer. This one is very distinctly Chinese because even though it is a stew, it has those warmth of ingredients that you get from things like star anise, a little bit of chili and the ginger, and that makes it distinctly Asian rather than the Western style. Both are probably equally as nice. You pay your money, you take your choice. Today I'm gonna to show you the Chinese one. So the first thing we're gonna do is prepare our beef. I've got about a kilo of beef brisket here. Any suitable stewing beef will be fine. I especially recommend, if you can get it, some beef cheek, um, but you'll have to go to your butchers for that. But anything in your supermarket, such as the brisket, will be great. You need some sort of marbling, you need some fat in it. It doesn't wanna to be too lean because obviously that's what gives our stew the body and the flavor. And we're gonna cut these into cubes bite-sized cubes, chunky cubes. You can make them as big as you like. I like them kind of medium to big, enough that I can fit them in my mouth, but not so small as to not actually identify it as a chunk of stewed beef anymore, if you know what I mean. So that, that sort of chunkiness, that's where I kind of like it. So you're also gonna need five cloves of garlic, chopped up, one chili sliced up, a good thumb-sized piece of ginger sliced up, two star anise, and you can find these at your local Asian or Chinese supermarket, three tablespoons of dark soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, I'm using soft brown sugar, you can use whatever you've got to hand, three tablespoons of Shaoxing rice wine or dry sherry will be fine, two tablespoons of plain flour, I'm gonna put a fair bit of salt and pepper on this because this is gonna coat our beef before we brown it. Five hundred milliliters of beef stock, one teaspoon of five spice powder, and a bunch of spring onions. I've got five stalks here. Just going to chop them up roughly. Right everybody, so this is our beef. As you can see, I've cut it into quite nice chunky chunks, which I like. And I'm gonna add the seasoned flour to the beef, okay? So we're gonna sprinkle all that on. So it's gonna have some seasoning on the beef as we brown it, that's the idea. And obviously the, the flour is gonna thicken the, the gravy or the sauce, whatever you wanna call it, as it cooks. So we're just gonna give this a stir. So we're coating all the beef as much as we can. Guys, so I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm not gonna be using my stove, the wok or the oven. I'm using this, my Pressure King Pro. Now, before I begin this bit, I am not sponsored by them or any other company at this stage. I've had this for about three years. It's not even the latest model, but it is amazing for making things like stews. Uh, first of all, it's a one pot stop, if you like. You can brown your meat in this, you can saute your, your vegetables, your aromatics in this, and then the top goes on and you just basically pressure cook it for about half an hour. That's the other advantage, because if you did this conventional way, which you can, and all you'd have to do is brown all your, your ingredients, put your stocking and stick it in the oven for about two hours, this does it in half an hour. You can set it before you go off to work and you come back to a nice hot stew. So win-win situation, this, this is amazing. I only tend to get it out at winter, but it's really, really good. And if Pressure King Pro are watching this, then if they want to do sponsor me, then I'm, I'm here. Right, so we're gonna put about two tablespoons of oil into the pot. Give it a stir so it's covering the whole bottom of the pot itself and then we're gonna add that sizzling away. We're in browning mode on this. Of course you would be doing this 
on your wok, in your wok or in your pan, if you're not using one of these, and then we're gonna add all the beef. Try not to overload. I think we've just got enough to do, enough space to do this in. <clears throat> and we're just gonna let it sizzle. So this is working like a frying pan right now. So once the beef is like that, just let it lie, let it cook away. For a few minutes. And we can go in and give it a good stir. And just try to brown all surfaces of the meat as much as we can. This will help seal in the the flavour and give us a nice texture to the, the beef itself. Once we've browned our beef, the next step is to actually take it out so we can saute the aromatics. You can see all the caramelized bits still in the pan. That's great because obviously when this all starts to cook properly, all that is gonna get integrated into the sauce, which is gonna bring all the flavor into the sauce for you, that's great. So we're gonna add a little bit more oil, about another tablespoon. And we're gonna pop in our garlic our chilies and our ginger and just start to cook that off get the flavor into that oil oh the smell from here is absolutely amazing it's making my mouth water straight away so as everything softens we can start to add the beef back in so we're gonna put the beef back in, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna put our star anise in, five spice, sugar, dark soy sauce, our 500 milliliters of beef stock, our rice wine, and I'm going to put most of the spring onion in here, but I'm holding some back because then we can use that as a little bit of garnish when we plate up. Give that a good stir. Check it out. It's looking pretty sweet already, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And try to scrape some of the stuff off the bottom. I know that doesn't sound <laughs> great, but it will just help recombine it and get all the flavor back into that gravy. And obviously we're stirring all the dry ingredients and dissolving the sugar and getting the star anise involved and getting the five spice powder dissolved into that liquid too. Right. And basically that's all the hard work done now. And put the lid on. Shut the valve. And all we've got to do is set it to stew. Fantastic, and that's it. Job done, see you in about half an hour. Right guys, check it out. Chinese beef stew. It's sumptuous, it's warming, it's got the little undertones of the Asian spices. Perfect served with something like pak choy. I'm going to leave the recipe up above for you. Um, and some steamed rice. Just absolutely perfection on a cold winter's evening. There's nothing like it. Any stew is good for this sort of occasion. And if you're feeling like you want something different, have a go at this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you make this dish. If you do have any comments or any feedback, Leave them in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like on the way out. I know I'm asking for a lot, but actually 
this very quickly that you just can't press a few buttons and if you really want to help support the channel you can leave something in the super thanks it's totally optional but it really helps me buy ingredients and things to make more and more dishes to make these videos with it's really much appreciated so guys i hope to see you in the next one and have a good week take care bye bye